That photo I used in the thumbnail, this one here, that's not a fictional graph for clickbait. That's my actual TikTok analytics for this week. So what went wrong? On the 12th of June, one week ago, I had 125.9 thousand followers on TikTok. In a week, I've lost 300 followers. Boohoo, I suppose. And yeah, it's not the end of the world. And when I switch to this graph, and then to this graph, that tiny dip becomes a lot smaller. So what's the big deal? Why have I lost followers? And why am I scared? <sighs> I've talked about my TikTok journey in a past video. Watch it if you'd like, got a card thing there, but I won't lie, it's quite a dry video. Just to summarise quickly, I've been making videos on a World War II bunker in my garden, I'm restoring it as a project, and then I just upload progress videos onto TikTok. I blew up on TikTok very much by accident. It didn't happen overnight, that never happens, but it did happen very quickly. So why have I lost followers? Have I run out of content? Has my page finally met its end? Have I been cancelled? Uh, no. Basically, I've had my A-levels. For my international audience out there, A-levels are basically these exams you do when you're 18. They're a pretty big deal. And as I've been busy with revision, my personal life, and my weekend job in retail, I haven't been able to post nearly as many videos. Before, I was posting about two to three videos a day. The past month, it's been more like four or five videos a week, if that. So what? You're still uploading, so why are you losing followers? Because the videos suck. Like, literally. I'm super busy in the day, so I spend about 10 minutes making the video, meaning the video is super rushed, and it turns out rubbish. These videos aren't getting on the For You page, my followers are getting frustrated, there is literally nothing I can do about it, and it's very scary. Now, I'm sure once all of my exams are over, and I'll have a lot more free time in the summer, hopefully my TikTok will return to normal. But the problem with TikTok isn't this exact case, it's the risk. It's no secret that I'm on the Creator Fund. This is not a video about the Creator Fund, and I'd rather not say how much I make, that's a very personal thing to me. But for some perspective, I have a zero hour retail job at the weekends and I make slightly less from the Creator Fund than I do from my actual job. So what's the problem? I want to do TikTok full time. I want it to be my job. Being a content creator is something that I've always dreamed of. I have such a fond memory of being in primary school and the teacher asks, what do you want to be when you're older? and every kid said YouTuber. Nearly every kid born in this millennium has tried to become a influencer, TikToker, YouTuber, or digital creator at some point. And through luck, a lot of hard work, and a lot of time, I've been fortunate enough to get a taste of that career. Like I said before about how my videos have been doing bad because I'm not spending as much time on them, I just keep thinking that if I quit my job and I worked full time on my videos, they'd be so much better and I'd be able to make so many more. I'm not in it for the money. It started as a hobby and now I just happen to be earning from it. But it's no secret that money is a thing I need to live and it's also something I need to actually make the videos. So just quitting my job and investing everything into TikTok is a very big risk. That scary graph is something that keeps me up at night. Now we've all heard stories of billionaire dropouts. One story of an amazing risk which definitely paid off is when Steve Jobs sold his car so he could fund Apple. And I love that story. The problem with TikTok is it's so unstable. I could get 1 million views for one video than 200 views to the next. That risk is something that my stress levels cannot put up with. That's part of the reason why I'm moving over to here, to YouTube. Right now, I'm working so hard to get this going, and I can say YouTube is a lot harder to grow on than it is for TikTok, but it's more consistent, and it was always a YouTuber that I answered to that question when I was younger. I'm learning, I'm working hard, and I'm taking risks that I oh so hope work out, but it is difficult. I ask myself, maybe this isn't for me, but it's something I'm so passionate about, something that I've always wanted to do. So I'm not quitting, and I'm also not quitting TikTok, but I will be focusing a lot more on this. Maybe it will pay off, maybe it won't, but at least I'm trying. What's next? I don't know. If you are able to support this channel in any way possible, as I've just spent a whole video explaining, it would mean so much to me. My last A level is on Friday, and then it's the summer, and I have so many plans for this platform. And I'd love for all of you to come on that journey with me. Thank you so much.